So in this video, I'll show you how to go from email notifications from having this weird looking email address to this. So now we can see that the from email address is my domain name. And we can also see that the mail by content also now contains my domain name and similar to signed by also now contains my domain name. So again, this was previously. So we have signed by Shopify email, mail by Shopify email, and then we have that weird looking email address. So I changed some settings, which I'll show you how to do that in this video. And now whenever someone order something on my Shopify store, all the notification emails will have my business email address instead of that weird looking email address I showed you earlier. And the extra benefit here is that it also helps you deliver your emails to your customer's inbox instead of potentially the spam folder. So let's get into it. But before we do, did you know I'm writing a new book? email marketing for e-commerce businesses. So if it's out by the time you watch this video, grab it via the link below. So I've bundled my entire e-commerce email playbook into this one book and it's priced at just a few cups of coffee. So let's get into the video. So first of all, there are two requirements to get started with this email sender domain authentication process. So the first one is you need to be on an active paid plan to authenticate your Shopify email, at least if you're on a third party domain, which most of us probably are. And secondly, you must have a custom domain email address. So just as an example, let's say this is your website, then a custom domain email address is this. So info at creatorrack.com. That's just an example. So you have to have a custom domain. And why is that? Because you can't authenticate free email addresses like Gmail or Yahoo email addresses. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to log into our dashboard, obviously, and then we're going to go to settings. So bottom left corner here, settings, and then we're going to click on notifications. And over here, we can see the sender email. So the email your store uses to send emails to your customers, which is currently this email address. And just so you know, the email address you enter in over here will be used for the email notification. So this is a Dutch order notification, which will be sent to my customers. And as you can see, the reply to email address is that email address we've used inside this uh, field over here. And also if you scroll down over here, you can see there's this email address here again. So just so you know where that email address will be used. So if you're on a paid plan, you will probably see something like this if you haven't authenticated your domain yet. So we have to click here on authenticate your domain. So I'm going to click on it. And now we see this window pop up, which basically says we have to create four new records with your domain provider. So now we have to log in to our domain provider to add those four new records. If you don't know who you're domain provider is you can use a tool like this and you can enter the domain name here and you can click on lookup and now you can see that the provider I use for this particular domain is Cloudflare so I'm gonna log into Cloudflare so now I'm logged in in Cloudflare we have to find the DNS tab so if you're using a different domain provider it'll look a little bit different obviously but you have to find the DNS tab if you cannot find it just Google how to find the DNS tab and then with your domain provider there will definitely be an how to step by step uh, explanation on how to find that. So we're now in the DNS tab in the records tab, and we have to add those four new DNS records. So we're just going to start with record number one and the type we have to use is called CNAME and the host name is this. I'm just going to click here on copy. I copied now the host name. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare to the DNS tab and I'm going to click on add a record. And as you remember correctly, the type should be C name. So if we go back to Cloudflare over here, we click type and then we're going to scroll down a little bit here and we can see C name. Then for the name, we're going to use that host name we just copied. Then we're going to go back to Shopify and we're going to copy the value. I'm going to click on copy here. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare and over here for the target, that is the value. I'm going to enter that value in over here and I'm going to disable the proxy status. If I'm correct, it doesn't work if you use the proxy status. So you have to use the DNS only. And then Cloudflare has the option to add a comment, which is only for internal use. Not every domain provider has the option to add a comment, but since Cloudflare does offer that option, I'm going 
want to add this comment so I know in the future what this particular racket is. So Shopify and then the email address and then email domain authentication. So now I know what this particular racket is. I'm going to click on the save and now I'm going to add a new racket. So again, we have to add in total four new rackets. I'm adding a new racket. I'm going to go back to the Shopify tab. I'm going to go to the second record. So we're just going to go through them one by one. So record number two, again, C name. By the way, they're all C name types, as you can see. So I'm going to copy this one again. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare. So I'm going to find the C name again. So C name, the name is the thing we just copied. I'm going to go back to Shopify. I'm going to copy this value here of record number two. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare, paste it in here, disable the proxy status. I'm going to use that same comment I've used for that other record. I'm going to paste in the comment here. I'm going to click on save. So that's the second one. We're going to continue with the third one. So again, C name. I'm going to copy this host name. I'm going to click on add a record. I'm going to find C name. The name is the host name we just copied. We're going to go back to Shopify. We're going to copy the value of the third record. We're going to go back to Cloudflare. There we're going to copy the target. So that's the value. Disable the proxy status. Copying the comments. Pasting in the comment. I'm going to click on save. So that's the third record. We're going to go back to Shopify. Now the last, the fourth one, I'm going to click on copy here for the host name. Add a new record. C name. I'm going to select C name. Then we're going to copy in the host name. I'm going to go back to Shopify. I'm going to copy the value. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare, paste in the value, disable the proxy, copying the comment, pasting the comment. <laughs> going to click on save. So now we added all four DNS records. So click authenticate domain on this page to complete the setup. I'm going to click on authenticate domain to see if it is working. Domain authentication for this email is pending. This can take up to 24 hours. So it's now a few hours hours later and now the domain is successfully authenticated so your domain is authenticated if your email is still showing as so that weird looking email address in the inbox ensure you have a dmark record okay so how can we check if that is still the case so we can quickly check that by sending a test email so we're going to go to customer notifications and then we're going to click on order confirmation and then we're going to click on send a test email i'm going to click on send so this is the test email Email, as you can see and if we click on show details here you can see that the from email address is now the correct email address and you can also see we have mailed by and here we can see my custom domain name and signed by and then over here the custom domain name as well so it is all working and just to remind you to show you the differences so here we can see that we're looking email address from Shopify and here we can also see mailed by and then we can see Shopify email.com Shopify email.com so this is how it should be. So the from, the mail by, and the sign by should all have your domain name. But if we go back to notifications, here it says your domain is authenticated. But if your email is still showing as this email address in the inbox, ensure you have a DMARC record. So let's click here on DMARC record. So apparently I have a DMARC record, but maybe you don't. So let's fix that for you if that's the case for you. If so let's click on DMARC record to see the instructions for adding that DMARC record in the DNS settings. I'm going to click here on DMARC record. And then over here, we can see the steps, what we have to take in order to add that DMARC record to our DNS settings. So I'm going to log in into my domain provider again, just like I did previously. I'm going to find the DNS records tab. And here we can see I already had a DMARC record and that's why it is working already. But again, let's say you do don't have a DMARC record inside your DNS settings tab yet. So we have to add one. We're going to click on add a record. And if we go back to the Shopify instructions, you can see that we have to add a text record. So not a CNAME record like we did previously. No, now it has to be a text record. So we're going to go back to our DNS settings and we're going to look for the text record type. I'm going to select it. Then for the name, we're going to add this value here. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go back to our DNS settings. I'm going to paste it in here. And then we have to add the content. I'm going to go back to Shopify. And then for the record value field, we're going to add this value over here. I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to go back to our DNS records. And then I'm going to paste in here the value and then you're going to click on save and that should do the trick for you so let me know down below in the comments what you think of this video was it helpful was it not helpful was it too long or was it too short please let me know thank you bye bye